I'm Sam Hoyle, your Shafter Neighborhood Reporter. I'll apologize for the noise in advance, but it's for good reason. Behind me is an air burner located at the Shafter Wasco landfill. What it's doing is it's burning up material that they previously haven't been able to do anything with and creating electricity with it that will see far reaching benefits through the county. Behind the charge sits Chuck McGee, a public works manager for Kern County, who says this piece of equipment is just the start. That process will produce a top quality compost that people can utilize, like I said, any way they feel free. But wait, what is all of this? Well, I'm glad you asked. You might recall our previous report on the county approving the building of a compost facility at the Shafter Wasco landfill. The air burner you see here is going to help power that new facility when it goes online to create that compost for the community. Now, it might feel like a Tarantino movie with all the bouncing around that we've been doing, and you might be wondering to yourself, Sam, how does that air burner work? Well, in short, it takes hard to grind material that has no purpose at the landfill. They're able to break it up and then burn it and then capture that heat and create electric energy, kind of like a solar panel. Now we can utilize that material as a resource to make electricity, to power other equipment that's utilized throughout the whole facility to help produce more compostable material. As this project continues to ignite, processes have had to adjust in order to streamline it. For instance, when building a campfire, you start with smaller pieces, and then once that fire is rolling, the larger the piece you add, the longer the fire burns and the harder it is to put out. This is why the county has invested in tools like a log splitter to help break down the hard to grind waste and turn it into something. Now, while some may look at this pile of lumber and think nothing of it, for McGee, it's an opportunity for he and his team to make an impact on their community by turning something that people think nothing of into something they can use. Waste that was just getting buried, we found a way to get that out, make a product that's necessary, utilize it in a way that's beneficial to everybody in the county, and now to be able to do it at a lower cost than what it was to just get rid of it, that gets me excited. When we can implement programs to take waste material and more economically handle them than bury it, to me that's an exciting step forward. Now, the air burner is just the first step in the process for McGee and the Shafter Wasco landfill. We'll keep you updated on air and online as they move through those next steps. In Shafter, I'm Sam Hoyle, your neighborhood reporter.